congruent polygons. Hi dear students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to visualize congruent polygons. Let's begin. Let's take a look at these two pairs of polygons. What can you observe? The first set of polygons are congruent polygons, while the second one are not congruent polygons. Now by simply looking at these two sets, can you tell the difference between congruent and not congruent polygons? Let's find out. Congruent polygons are two or more polygons which corresponding sides and angles are congruent. We can say sides are congruent if they have the same length, while angles are congruent if they have the same measure. For example, we have here two triangles. Let us observe. We can see that these two triangles have the same measurement of angles, where two angles are 51 degrees and one angle is 78 degrees. Therefore, they have congruent angles. Also, we can say that their corresponding sides have the same length, where two sides are both 10 meters while the other one is 16 meters. Therefore, they have congruent sides. Since they have congruent sides and angles, it means they are congruent polygons. Now, congruent polygon necessarily must have the same shape and same size. Going back to our sets of polygons earlier, we can see that the first set have the same shape. Also, the tick marks indicate that the corresponding sides of the two polygons are congruent, and that the second polygon is just a rotated version of the first one. Therefore, they are congruent polygons. While the second set of polygons are not congruent, since they don't have the same shape and size, which means they don't have congruent size and angles. Let's have another example. Let's find out if this pair of triangles is congruent or not. First, let's take a look at their angles. Here we can see that they have the same measurement of angles. Therefore, they have congruent angles. Next, let's take a look at their corresponding sides. Here we can see that their corresponding sides don't have the same length or measure, which means they are not congruent. Now, even though these triangles have congruent angles, we can still say that they are not congruent polygons since their corresponding sides are not congruent. Last one. What do you think? Are they congruent polygons or not? The tick marks indicate that the corresponding sides of the two hexagons shown are congruent. And we can see that they have the same shape and size. The other one is just a rotated or flipped version. Therefore, they are congruent polygons. That's all for today. Now, here are the things that you learned today.